I was given a request by one of my Patreons to do Where to Star Comics Martian Manhunter, and this was a very, very difficult task for me. In the beginning, for one, I didn't really enjoy the character. I don't hate him like Hawkman. Hawkman I hate. I definitely don't like that fucker. But I never really got attached to John. His design, the way he acts, it's just, it's not very enjoyable i'm not interested in this character you know it just doesn't click with me on top of that martian man hunter is pretty much 90 percent of the time on a team but that actually works for his benefit so even though i'm not a huge fan of the martian man hunter himself he has been in a lot of good books and today we're going to talk about some that you should check out right now so I'm going to start my list with Justice League International. This is an oldie, but a very, very much goody comic. This is the 80 series that I just did a review on in omnibus form, and I really just turned out to be a delight to read. And in this book, John is trying his best to semi-run this team of the Justice League International. And while it's fun to see John have to deal with pretty much a lot of morons on the team, while he's mostly played as kind of the straight guy or the stand-up guy, take no shit type of guy, he does break a joke or two that really work well because he is this more stoic type character. This is easily the most entertaining for me that John has ever been, especially with this bunch of characters. And just to say that, this run is excellent and I can not recommended enough so go check out justice league international another one though is the jla in the late 90s to early 2000s by various writers starting with the amazing grant morrison now grant morrison really did let martian manhunter shine but even in later runs in this long running series especially the joe kelly run you really get to see interesting things explored with john see the manhunter is a pretty powerful character but his weakness is well fire and in this storyline the main focus is to rid himself of this weakness after prior things happen in different stories but to unlock that to get rid of that fire it might not be a great thing. It might transform John into something different. So I really like that John is kind of this leader in this series, but also kind of the... I don't want to say antagonist, but a problem that the team has to solve. So it's a different side of John, and I really like the soul-searching arc that we got here. So I really do recommend the JLA run, not just because it's pretty good, but also if you're a John fan, I think you're really going to enjoy this run. Now, those are the two series I recommend, but for standalone stories, I'm going to mention two, and we're going to start off with Final Crisis because he dies, and it's funny. Okay, I'm, I'm joking. John does play a pretty big role here because he is murdered here, and while Final Crisis isn't my favorite, it does feel like kind of a bookend to the saga of the Manhunter throughout his entire life, especially since Grant Morrison brought John to the forefront again in JLA. It was interesting to see his ultimate demise by Grant Morrison, even though it doesn't really matter in the end because, hey, New 52 happened very soon after this and rebooted everything, but John is a character that survives so many years without dying and then he does die here and even though it sounds like a spoiler i'm sorry it's 15 year old story almost i still think it's worth reading just to see his end uh because again it doesn't really matter john is very much alive now and running things but it is a cool bookend to the other runs that i mentioned and you get to really see his evolution till the end and i guess i'm gonna throw out the martian manhunter by steve orlando now i'll be honest i think just the first half of this story is solid i did not like the second half but watching manhunter kind of gel into society it almost feels like a vision story if you read the vision by tom king and the second half it just kind of flips into a weird mess of a thing for me but this is more my issue with just the writer style of the writing and the dialogue many do enjoy this series as a john fan it looks like just seeing from the ratings i enjoyed it enough that i do recommend it so that says something even though this isn't really my style of a book and it has really weird and out of this world art that i think actually contributes to the overall weird feeling and tone of the story so if you want something different and this is very much standalone you don't have to read anything else but this you can pick up martian manhunter by steve orlando just by itself and that is my list for the martian manhunter now there's a lot of stories out there if some of you read martian manhunter and really enjoy the character if you want to mention some that'd be awesome these are my picks for something that i think a fan would enjoy or someone interested in trying to get into the character or someone who's not a big fan i think you'll still enjoy these runs and stories but i hope you guys enjoyed uh, more videos are on the way as always and i always like doing where to start comics or 
comic book related videos because it's a passion of mine. But I hope you guys enjoyed and everybody just have a wonderful day and enjoy some comic books.